I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com and I'm going to show you how to set up Apple's Health app. There's a ton that you can do with this app, but one of the most important things I think is the medical ID card. If you have an iPhone running iOS 8, I definitely recommend you at least set up this much of the Health app. So you know on your lock screen you have that emergency button? It lets you make a call, but it also now gives you access to this medical ID button. Let's say you pass out in the middle of the street and someone sees you have an iPhone. They can press this medical ID button from the lock screen and pull up the key information you've entered about yourself. They can also hit a speed dial button that will call the emergency contact person that you set. So how do you set that up? You just use the medical ID button in the health app. That's all there is to it. Let's take a look at the rest of the dashboard, which might look like this or this. You can see that it's different charts plotting things about my health and fitness I care about. You get to decide what's on this dashboard and you get to decide where the information comes from. Let me show you. Now one way to enter information is manually and you'll start on the health data tab. You can see there's a whole long list of categories of things you can enter about yourself. One tip is to use the search bar that appears at the top. It'll make it a lot easier to find the things you want. So let's say you want to track your blood pressure. You pull up the blood pressure page and you tap add data point. That lets you key in the latest blood pressure reading. Now that'll let you type in the numbers for your blood pressure manually. The other option is to connect an app that will read your blood pressure for you and then import it into the health app. I've been using this one called Cardio, for example. You can also add other apps that count things like your weight or how many steps you take in a day. It's pretty self-explanatory from there. Anything you want to show on your dashboard, you just toggle Show on Dashboard, and that's it. Then you can keep an eye on how your health changes by using the Health app over the weeks and months and years.